No news tonight. Today marked 10 years since one of Arizona's deadliest shootings. January 8, 2011, in my hometown of Tucson, Arizona, a gunman opened fire during a meet and greet for then Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Six people were killed. Giffords was shot in the head, but remarkably survived and continues to power through it all. Amanda Gomez from our NBC affiliate in Southern Arizona has more. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. 2020 was no bueno. bueno. No bueno at all. Really bad. But 2021, things Woo! are looking up. <laughs> we are doing well. Um, 10 years is a long time. Gabby commented just uh, the other day that it, uh, it's gone by very quickly. Nelson, come here. But it's, you know, also, you know, it's important to reflect on, uh, I think anniversaries reflect on, on the day and what it means and um, you know how we have come together as a as a community um, in the in the previous decade. A decade spent reflecting on the past and recovering for the future. A future no one thought was possible for Gabby Giffords when she was shot in the head on January 8th, 2011. It was a challenging time, brought us together. Gabby will uh, be forever grateful you know, how this, you know, it just touched her personally, you know, that folks um, in Arizona rallied around, you know, her and what happened on that day. Her recovery has been nothing short of remarkable, all with her husband, Mark Kelly, by her side every step of the way. You know, it's a road uh, of recovery for the sort of injury uh, that she had is a long one. And uh, she continues to work on physical therapy and speech therapy, and she continues to improve. Um, she gets a little faster on the bike all the time and uh, a little faster walking down the street. And um, but, it, you know, it's 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 hard. Um, she's very positive about the future and staying positive is something Gabby has done from the beginning. It will be a long, hard haul, but I'm optimistic. That's what Gabby told us four years after the shooting, and her optimism hasn't faded since. Move ahead, move ahead. That's all you gotta do is move ahead. Yes. Now, 10 years since that tragic day, Gabby is still moving ahead, focused on how she can also help her city and her state move forward. Be a leader, set an example, be passionate, be courageous, be your best.